Hello guys and welcome back to another episode on the Technical Beast server. We've got a lot to show you this episode. As always, we're going to be starting some new projects and I'm joined by Wanny Wanson of CodeCrafted. <laughs> and also Raven's Child is here as well. Hey. Hey dude. <laughs> and uh, we've been really busy, as I said. You can see that we have a beacon up the top here and these are made out of blocks from the Thormacraft. Uh, I can never say that word. How's it pronounced? Um, Thormacraft. Thormacraft. There we go, I got it that time, yeah. So these blocks are from the former craft mod, and we have some of them down here actually. What are they called? Arcane Earth. stone blocks. Arcane. Yeah. And I think for each one of those that you've used, it's created magic in the area or something, right? And that's caused these wisps to appear? Yeah, it, it turns a little bit of bad magic into the environment. Yeah, we've had quite a few of them. I can't see any at the moment. Uh, but we'll probably get attacked by a few when we're recording, so that's what that is. <laughs> Um, but the storage area project is now <coughs> sort of finished and um, we've wired everything up with these uh, what are these things called again? Um, pneumatic there. tubes. Say that again? <laughs> pneumatic tubes. Pneumatic tubes. So I basically just ignore the P. Oh, I really do struggle with pronunciations. Um, so these go all the way around the top area first. Actually no, they go they go to all the barrels first, don't they, in both areas? Yeah. So we've tried to put the most uh, useful items that we can in this area. You can see we've got our rubies and emeralds, different types of common building materials and ingots, all the sort of stuff you need for crafting. Um, some of this, though, is still a little useless, like <laughs> the saplings. They don't really need to be there. Uh, but we'll probably rearrange this stuff as we oh. go along. Oh, did you see a wisp? Oh, yeah, there's there one. one. <laughs> He's yeah, attacking us it. as well. Let's kill it. Oh, there's one on top of the beacon. Trying. <laughs> it's quite difficult to even hit them. Oh. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Oh, oh, sorry. oh they're so di Oh, he set me on fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should leave him alone for now. <laughs> yeah, I got him, got him. Yes. Nice. Do they drop anything? Yeah, they drop wispy essence. Is that useful? Yeah, it is. Alright, that's cool. <laughs> so, we're probably going to arrange these items as we go along. And then down in this area we have uh, less useful things. Uh, you can see we've got some skulls from mobs. Uh, we got that with an enchantment on our sword, which we don't have at the moment. Do you remember the name? Is it... Um, I, I think hmm. it ends in L, like Werrell or something like that. But basically there's an enchantment you can get for swords that help you get the head drops from mobs. So we've uh, actually got some... It's oh. Vorpal. Vorpal, that's Vorpal. the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we have a sword with Vorpal free. So we've got creeper heads, we've got these heads here, and uh, we've been getting tons and tons of wither skulls. We've only got a few of them here. Um, so our less frequently used items go into this area, and once the relay has put, uh, or checked even, that all of these spaces are either full up or it doesn't have the right item to put in the barrel, then it will go round over here to these chests and start filling these up. So these are sort of organised to some degree at the moment. We've only filled up the first few bunch of chests. Uh, but the main thing with the mods is is there's so many items you really do need to organise them, otherwise you're going to end up with uh, tons of chests everywhere full of materials. So if we use the relay up here, let's put in some stone and we can see it go across. And we've got five stacks of stone at the moment. And in it goes, we've got six. So when you come back from your caving adventure, you can just dump all of your items in here. We even have some torches in a barrel over on this side. And then these items that I'm going to put in next don't even have a space yet. So if I put in some wooden doors and some cobblestone wall, then that should make its way down to the end here and pick an empty barrel. So I think it will be one of these ones here that it will choose next. Um, I've lost track of where the items are. Oh, here they are. Yeah, okay. they are going in these. Yep, it does look like yeah. it will go to those ones first. Yep, there's the door. It put both the doors in as well, that's interesting. And then there those ones go. So that is it, that is this system working. And when all these barrels are full up, that's when it will start going to the chest. So it will put the items in to the first chest. Actually, I'm not 100% sure how this works. Do you know, Juanes? Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to fill up the first chest and then the second, third. So when, these chests, yeah. when this first chest is full of items, um, let's say there's some cobblestone in there but not a full stack. Is it going to detect that it can actually fit the cobblestone in or does it just see that the chest is full and move it into the next one? It's going to detect it, so fill it up first. Alright, that's great. So that's really smart. 
basically. Well, and that's... what we what you can do is just um, have a grid of one uh, pieces of cobblestone, so you fill up the chest completely, Dude. and then you yeah. sort of have a sorting system. Yes, that's a lot of people have been doing that in vanilla Minecraft for a long time. Yeah. So you can just shift click your stacks in, and I guess it'll be the same system except this thing will put your items in. Dude, that's mm -hmm. going to be great for storing items. Um, it looks like we have a lot at the moment, but we don't really. Uh, the longer you play this game, you're just going to gather up so many materials. It's going to be really useful to store them like that. Yeah. So um, after we got our, actually, should we go over to King Happy's area and show off the? Skeleton XP farm that he built over there, and we can oh, show yeah. how we got our first soul <coughs> shard. Okay, let's head over there. Here we are at King Happy's base. We just had a bit of an incident with a creeper, but we managed to put all of his items in these chests. Um, but this is King Happy's area. He's been learning about Feed the Beast over here. He's got a little setup, and I'll probably put a link on the screen to his episode if you want to see him going through the progress of building all of this sort of stuff and learning about Feed the Beast. Um, but what he's done over here is he's found one of these. Um, they're like dungeons, I guess. Does this thing actually have its own name, this type of dungeon? Wisp Dungeon. Wisp Dungeon. And I can see he's actually removed the bit that stops the wisp spawning, is that right? Yeah, I removed it. They, okay, they so are they going to start spawning in here? Because I'm a little worried about that. <laughs> nope, they don't. Okay, cool. So down here there are a couple of spawners. You can see there's one on that side and it's all covered up by dirt at the moment. And we've been using this along with soul shards to get these mob spawners. You can get five tiers of them, and after you kill, uh, was it 1,024 mobs, you get a tier five spawner, which is yeah. like a. It, it just spawns so many mobs, it's insane. You can barely kill them as quick as they spawn. Um, so we've been enchanting items and getting the soul stealer swords, so that speeds up the process. I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think. Um, each enchantment counts for an extra one. So if you have Soul Stealer, you'll get two souls from each kill, and Soul Stealer three will give you four. Um, so we've been using this to get ourselves a couple of spawners. I think we've got three skeleton ones and one zombie one. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, and that kind of leads us to our next project because what we want to do at the moment is get every type of spawner there is in the game. So we're going to be going into the Never soon to uh, set something up to collect ghasts, um, like we'll set up a platform where they spawn and then we can kill them and get their souls. Uh, but next we should head back to our base and show you what happened when we fought the wither. So yeah, the wither. Um, we got ourselves some wither skulls after we set up one of those skeleton spawners from the soul shards in the nether. And uh, I didn't actually do this. Uh, one is, it was you who tried to take yeah. on the wither. And because of Greg Tech, it seemed that the Wither is a lot harder to kill. <laughs> yeah. Um, so whereabouts down here did you actually set it up? Well, we can just walk over here and I'll just uh, show you where I've set it up. Okay. <laughs> you can see oh, what happened. <laughs> yeah. I think the story, it, it story's kind of self-explanatory. A lot of things. So, yeah, oh, man, keep there was going. none of this lava here before. <laughs> nope. Oh, Enderman. <laughs> oh, kill it. <laughs> Should we kill yeah. it? Just nah, we, we've got enough pearls shit. now. Oh, oh. Well, we we can always get a spare one if someone is I guess so. There's it. an evil oh. zombie here. No, he's going to kill me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. oh, I got killed. <laughs> okay, I'll kill no. it with a stone hole. Oh. Okay, another end of nice. Got it, got it. Um. Uh, so we grab your stuff? Yeah, yeah. I'm stuff, on my way yeah. there. <laughs> Oh, it's not so bad getting killed on FTB because all your stuff's overpowered anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and you guys are here as well. I guess if I died on mine, I'd probably be in a pickle. Yeah. Wait, wait a sec. Uh, your sword. Thank you. Your pants. Um, anything else? Stolen presents. <laughs> um, jetpack. I think that's it, right? Food and jetpack I had as well. Oh, food, yeah. Boots, yeah. boots are on the, on the ground. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Getting well, creepy. I don't think he exploded anything. Cool. I hope. It's also yours, I think. I can't. Oh, there we go. Picked up. So where's um the iron boots? Uh, it's it's. Oh. I threw it to the ground. I hope. Uh... Maybe the. Oh, creeper. it doesn't matter. Um, have you got the jetpack? Oh no, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, Venice okay. may may have picked it up. And the jetpack have... is is also on the ground. Maybe look for it, Venice. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, here's uh, here's an enchanted pickaxe. Always a jetpack that gets destroyed. Oh yeah, soon. I had enchanted picks. Oh, one with fortune, that's right. 
Is the jetpack gone then? I think Seems so. to be because I, I threw it out of my inventory right before the creeper. Ah, uh, okay, that, that's, mm, that's, that's a shame. Bad. Okay, so somewhere around here you set off the wither, yeah? Uh, it's even further away. All oh, right, well I can't I can't fly, so let's just somewhere down there you set it off basically. Well, I can't fly as well, but it's like here in the bedrock area. Yeah. Here I've set it off. So what well, happened? Because you was... were you were fully prepared to fight it. Yeah, I was killing it using a cobblestone generator. Oh right. And it was it was like nearly dead. It was like one tenth left. Yeah. And then he um yeah he got his eye on I don't know what maybe on me and he managed Possibly to escape a it. Maybe I don't know. He escaped it somehow, and then everything just yeah. went crazy. <laughs> yeah, I came on the server, and all I saw was you had withered away about five times. Yeah. And then I think you, you oh, the three funny. of you, um, King Happy being the other person, were trying to kill it for ages. And mm. then I came on when you guys were just rushing it with no weapons. <laughs> yeah, that, that was so well, funny. We had, we had stone swords, but I think that was like the most fun part of the whole thing. Yeah, it was quite just fun. rushing in. Hitting it two times, dying, rushing in again, hitting it Because you times. um you started over there, didn't you? And then yeah, and it I came guess all every the way to there. well every time you head back from from like where you spawn next to your bed, this direction, um, it's it's going to come towards you. So it yeah. got closer and closer. And when I joined in, it was literally right below the entrance, and uh, and yeah. then we managed to kill it right as it started blowing up the it way to get like up top. I mean, the next thing for it to do is to come up into the base, basically, so mm -hmm. <laughs> it's quite fortunate we killed it at that point. Yeah. And as it died, it died right here, and it looked like the Never Star went under this lava because it blew up the obsidian, yeah. and the lava started flowing everywhere, but it turns out that Raven's actually got the Never Star. <laughs> yeah, lucky. <laughs> and so really we fortunate. Made, so we made the first beacon. Yes, so now we have our first beacon and loads of wisps <laughs> as well. Yeah. <laughs> right, so I think we need to take a break now and I need to build myself a new jetpack. So I mentioned a bit earlier that we were going to go into the Never and start up a project there. Uh, we're not actually quite ready to do that yet and we also need to go to the End. We now have enough uh, Eye of Enders and End of Pearls to make more of them and um, to activate the portal. So what we want to do is go and kill the Ender Dragon and in this chest over here somewhere, where did I put it? Meal. We now have 12 soul shards, so we're going to be using oh. some of them on the Enderman, so we can get ourselves some Enderman spawners, and then that way we're going to have an infinite supply of Ender Pearls, which is going to be great. Um, but before we do any of that, Wani is going to explain what he's set up over here. We've got a really good power system that takes uh, magma from <laughs> from the the uh, from the Never. I don't have my jetpack on. <laughs> I was just trying to fly. I was supposed to make one, but uh, we decided mm -hmm. to record. Okay, so I can't fly about. <laughs> I'm not going to get used to that anytime soon. Uh, but yeah, do you want to explain what you got set up here? Um, yeah, we should just go to the nether first because that's where it all starts. Alright, okay. So let's um, hop through the portal. Okay. Oh, here we are. <laughs> okay. Um... So, this cobblestone hut is where it all happens. Yep. Uh, so, let's just get in. I made this like as compact as I could because I redesigned the whole thing. So, what I've set up here is two pumps, which uh, pump the lava out of a lake. I'll just open this that's, up for a oh, second. That's those two just, there, uh, have it? a look. So, if you remove this block here, we're going to see something extending down into the lava. Yeah. Yep, okay. Well, let me patch that back up, I don't feel safe. <laughs> Okay, so uh, those two pumps get the lava, uh, yeah, you don't really need two pumps, but I just put two there. Yeah. They get powered by this one magnetic engine, which uses lava, so that's very convenient. Um, oh yeah, so it's it's pumping out the lava into it as it's powering the pumps that yes. give it lava. <laughs> that's so clever. Exactly, and uh, the majority oh. of the lava is going into um, stuck. this... <laughs> Oh, and I'm free. <laughs> that was strange. Um, so the majority of the lava is going in this uh, grey block, which is a liquid transposer. And uh, this thing can basically fill up or empty any um, sorts of liquid storage. So I'm using cans. Is that and aluminium cans, cans? Yep. Yeah. 
Again, they go into the blue spot and they get filled with lava and then they just get um, spit out in these golden pipes. Yeah. And there they speed up and they get shot into this nether portal. Yep. Should we and go through it? Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe you should. Um, yes. And these nether portals are linked up, so I have two nether portals. Yeah, you need to jump out a bit. Um, Got it. <laughs> so there's a redstone engine here. Yeah. It's uh, pumping up a obsidian pipe. And when you do that, it's basically going to search for items in a 3x3 three three radius. So whenever there is a can coming through, like so, oh, there that's, we go. It that's picks convenient it up. that it just uh, hopped through. It's going to pick it up and yes. then just send it into this other liquid transposer, which is going to do the opposite of what the one over in the nether does. So this one is going to empty it, and I can just demonstrate that, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's just watch. It's going to empty it. Um, and there we go. And it sends the and empty then cans back. <laughs> into the nether portal. So That's we, excellent. So then that M can basically gets put in the liquid transposer in the nether, and that is it. So how many and cans do you have in the system in total? They're just a few cycling around. Uh, it's a stack. Oh, a stack of them. Okay. That's cool. But at the moment, the I have an iron tank set up here. That's the the iron looking thing. Yep. Which is basically storing um, a lot of, yeah, a lot of lava. So whenever this one is full, it's um, just pausing the whole system. So it's not really sending anything through. Yeah, that's great. So then, oh, this is my favorite bit down here. I really yeah. need a jetpack to get down there and see it all, but there's just this so many magma engines. This is a little bit messy, but. Um, these are 24 magmatic engines, yeah. and they output a total of um, 96 Minecraft joules a tick, wow. which <laughs> is nearly enough to fill up this energy cell in, I think, a couple minutes. Yeah, that and is extremely fast. <laughs> yeah. This thing stores uh, 600,000 Minecraft joules, and is, yeah, is more than enough to power all our machines that we have. We actually so, have two more of those, don't we? Those, oh yeah. Yeah, the, there's two of them over here. I'm not sure if they're full or not. Yep, that one's full. Yeah, they are. These are basically um, also batteries, so you can just pick them up and place them down somewhere else. And then yeah. you have 600,000 Minecraft jewels that you can use for something. That's great. <laughs> I love this setup. It's so cool. And uh, we've got quite a few things running off it at the moment. How much would you say in total that, like, a percentage of power it's using? Um, like... If everything would be running at the same time, I think it would use about um, 40% or something. 40%, Christ. <laughs> so we could still add a lot of stuff to this. Yeah. And this is hardly ever running all at the same time as well, mm -hmm. which is really impressive. So what are all of these things? You've got relays under them, which is what we've used over here in our storage area, and that's going to send the items yeah. up into the machines above them got two pulverizers, powered furnaces, induction smelters, magma crucible, a liquid transposer, a rock crusher. Oh, what's this mm -hmm. thing? Rock crusher. Um, this is the same as a pulverizer. All right, okay. I still don't know why I made it because it uses a lot more energy than the pulverizer and it's actually um, it's slower. I think I can see one advantage. It's not really an advantage, but you can store a lot more sand in there than you can in the pulverizer. No, sorry. Yeah. Do you use sand in the pulverizer? It's um, it's the induction smelter you use sand with sometimes, yes. isn't it? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm still getting used to all of this. But I've learned how to uh, smelt some ores now and, and use the rich slag as well. Mm -hmm. What is it you use rich slag with again? You use it with... Dusts, dust. and then you yeah. get, yeah, for two dust you get three ingots, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That way you can basically get um, any precious metal without needing to mine it. You just uh, chuck in some dust, yeah. a rich slag, and you basically produce more than you put in. Absolutely. And you can get the slag from any ore. Cool. <laughs> it's really good. So what's this thing you've got over here? You've shown me this before. The assembly um, table, you've actually got five lasers that power that around the back. Yeah. They're sort of hidden. 
Uh, oh, I don't have my jetpack. <laughs> so the assembly table is um, something from Buildcraft, and we use it to create more advanced stuff. So gates, for instance. Yeah. Um, pipe gates. They are used. Um, yeah, you can basically put it on top of the Buildcraft pipes and check a lot of conditions like. Are there items going through this pipe? Um, yeah. When the pipe is connected to a machine, for instance, it can check if the machine has a full inventory. So it can also check if the machine has uh, full energy because they store a certain amount of energy, oh, right. etc. So, they can, so we they could can we just... could we could add a gate at the top of this and say only take out items if the energy is full or something along those lines. Yeah. Yeah, that's really well, handy. <laughs> for, for this, it's, it's not really used because the redstone energy cell is handling all the energy. Yeah, it's got it more than it needs go. at the moment, isn't it? It's actually perfect. The redstone energy cell is uh, like really smart. It knows like when something needs energy and when it, something doesn't need energy. So it's not going to waste any energy. Yeah. Another thing about that is with these logic gates, let's say you didn't have a really good energy set up but you had some logic gates, perhaps you could prioritise machines by saying if you don't have enough energy in there then you sh you can shut it down completely yeah. and then let other ones run. Yeah, that's really great. Exactly. So it's been a while since we last recorded. Uh, we're now here at the top of the nether and we're going to be starting a nether perimeter project. Uh, the goal is to farm all the different mobs with the soul shards so we're going to be doing a lot of gas killing I think the plan there is to set up a huge platform and then we can all uh, wait for gas to spawn and then run up, run along the platform and kill them all um, so what we started off by doing is hollowing out a chunk at the very ceiling and below us I'll show you a lot of our work has already been done you can see we have a huge oh I thought my jetpack was failing for a second then <laughs> that scared me okay we have a huge lava lake below us so most of our work is already done uh, but now that we've hollowed out this central chunk we need to go 144 blocks in each direction so what we've done is we set up these turtles to go 144 blocks and what's cool about the layout that you see here is when they finish going to the end we can start the next one from here so we just plop it down and go tunnel 144 it's going to go all the way to the end and you can do that going all the way down the side of this bit here so it's going to be relatively easy to actually do this we just need to constantly make trips up to the top here and keep our eyes on these turtles so maybe next time this will be finished it's quite unlikely it's going to be a huge project but um, as always thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next episode